Hi, welcome to this introductory video on Microsoft Access. And uh, before we get started, you have several options here. The first, we're going to look at the blank database option here, which is what we're going to use to get started uh, today. So we can click on blank database. And uh, you'll notice that you have the option here to save your file. You, you can give it let's give it the name items and uh, we're gonna save it to documents so you can always ensure that you remember the location in which you save your database as well so we can click on create here All right. do you want to replace there's a file that has already exists in this case let me just rename that I think I already have let me go back to new blank database and uh, we're gonna just save that with a different name here let me give it a name inventory so we have inventory and I'm gonna click on create and that should not give us any problems good so we have table one by default um, we can create several objects here in our create menu if we should go to create you'll see uh, the options as well here for creating table in data sheet view as well as your design view now same thing we have for queries you have design view you can use a wizard as well and uh, for forms you have several options here for forms you can look at my upcoming videos and you will be able to see uh, the creation of forms as well as reports and the queries for today we're going to be looking at creating tables so I'm going to go to table design here and well I'm going to just close this because I want to use the same table that we have already by default table one so I'm going to right click on table one and I'm going to go to design view you're going to be prompted to save your table with a different name we're going to give the table name items here and click on OK all right so uh, by default you're given a field uh, ID number here which is the primary key of your table and the data type auto number now the primary key just simply ensures that you have unique records and uh, the auto number data type is is a by default uh, this is what access used to automatically count the number of records that you have in your table so this is just um, automatic counting numbers from one this is positive numbers from one to as many number of records as you may have in your table we can always change that if needs be in this case we're gonna have since the items table we're gonna have item number item underscore number just using the abbreviated version there and then we're gonna change from auto number to short text in other uh, versions you may have just text and uh, this will be item underscore name next field and one data type to also be short text and we can have quantity here as our numeric data type so we're going to change that to number and let's say we wanted to know the price here we'll have unit price as well so unit underscore price and we'll give this currency because we're dealing with monetary values below here you also have the option if you're looking in the field properties section here uh, to change field size and you can do a number of other things you can look out for additional videos that I will post in looking at field properties and how to limit your field size and do validation text and rules and so on alright so this is our table and if you want to remove the primary key at any time there are two ways you can right click here on the row containing the primary key and select the option for primary key or deselect it and you can if you want to put that back you can go ahead and select that from your ribbon here on the table tools in your design menu as well alright so we're gonna be right clicking here and we're gonna go to data sheet view you must save your table sure we're gonna save our table click on yes and now we have the opportunity to enter some information this is our data sheet view now okay so we're gonna enter one 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 keep it very simple or one zero one for item number the first item name here 
let's say this is um, I don't know eggs or something uh, quantity maybe we have a dozen eggs okay unit price let's make that what three dollars okay we have in our second record here I'm gonna type 202 and this is gonna be item let's make it milk and uh, let's say we have how many boxes of milk two boxes and that is two dollars and the third item we're gonna buy bread we have some bread and we may have just one loaf of bread and the cost may be well, let's make that uh, one dollar well yeah keep it one dollar so we have our table items and we have three records currently at the bottom here you notice you have um, it's saying three of three because this is our third record this is where you have your pencil indicated here which means that this is where we're actually are in terms of entering our records all right I'm gonna just save this and um, we're gonna close I'm gonna show you how to create a simple query a simple form and also a simple report for the form I'm just gonna highlight my table here and notice you have this navigation section where you've seen the different objects categorized by whatever object type it is in this case table and the only table I have there is items I'm going to create a simple form and I'm going to use this form option here with the little ID tag on it, a picture ID. And forms are just used to uh, display data or to enter data. So we have our simple form here. I'm just going to save that as items. And notice it will pop up here on the left. And you can see once again it's categorized based on item type. So I'm going to go back to my create menu. I'm going to close my items form and I'm now going to create a simple query. So I'm going to go to query wizard, click on query wizard. Simple query wizard is what we're working with, the default. So we click on OK. All right, let's say for this query, and queries are simply just trying to find out information from our database. Let's say we just want to do um, an inventory. So let's say I want to find out the items. So I'm going to use the item name here. So you can just click to add to your selected um, section. And uh, we're going to find out the quantity as well. So I'm going to just use a single arrow here to add quantity. So now we have item name and quantity. I'm going to click on next. And uh, I'm going to go with the default here. I'm not going to add any um, details there. And your name or title for the query. Keep it simple. We have items query. Click on finish. And there we go. We have our uh, number of items. We're seeing that there. Okay, for all our items in our list. All right, so I'm going to click on close, and that's our simple query. Notice this pops up over here on the queries. And we're now going to create a simple report. Now, there are many options here once again, but because we're getting started, we want to just see how this works. I'm going to click on report wizard. And the wizard is a good way to get you started because it walks you through and allow you to do this very easily all right for our report maybe we just want to see the item price so we're going to just use item name here and price so i'll just use my single arrow here to select those fields on my right and uh, we can go ahead and click next and uh, you have a number of options for grouping in other videos i'll show you how to do that i'm going to go to the default and just click on next you also have options for um, ordering, whether in the ascending or descending order here, but we're going to go with the default. You can look for additional videos on that. Click on next and we have also options for layout and uh, we'll just move on. All right, so what do you want the title of your report to be? Items report, so we're going to keep that simple as well and go ahead and tab this in here and uh, you can choose if you want to modify your report we'll look at that at a later time so we can go ahead and click on finish and here we have our wonderful report that we have just created so this brings us to the end of this uh, video and i hope that you have learned something from watching this video so 
If you like this video, click on the like button, make a comment, and remember to subscribe. Thank you.